welcome back to the channel everyone so today I'm back playing corn um, we're up here in a well I've got let's see how much do I have done I got 15 acres done of this field the other day I did an in row around it and then we got a bunch of rain so now all that corn's up. So now I'm just going back around and I've got to put another in row or two on and uh, I'm just going to plant it um, away from all that corn that's already there. Um, kind of makes it a pain, but I guess this row 20 is a planting. Let's see what's up. Yeah, it's planting now, so just wanted to complain about something. So this is our population chart here on the monitor. That's showing our population. We want it to be right on that center line. And we want it to barely be up off of that. When they get high or low, that means um, we're putting too much on or too little on. So we're actually variable rating right now. So it's gonna put on um, a different rate of seed for every area of the field. In this field, it's gonna be really a lot of different um, rates because it's a really hilly field in the as you can see which is pretty much everything is hilly around here but anyways we're doing a pretty good job this is all this is well this has had the airway run over it um, that's the only tillage that's been there run over it um, he ran the airway over this probably well it was a good while before I planted it the first time and uh, it's pretty well settled out with the rain now in it it looks like it's a pretty good seed bed. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Yesterday I was planting in tilled ground, and I will be later today, here in a little bit, once I finish this little field. This is probably like a 30, maybe 35 acre field. I've already got 15 acres done. So I'm also trying to plant out the seed that I had from yesterday because it's pioneer seed. We don't really want to be combining with pioneer seed. Um, no, I'm just kidding, but. Um, we're gonna have to just plant it out because we we planted we bought some pioneer seed um, from the from the guys that we actually bought the 8430 from because they were quitting farming and they needed to do something with the seed it was just sitting around there so we bought it off of them we're just gonna chop that for silage so it's not a big deal if it it you know it, if it's not a very good corn it's a hundred day corn so it's a really short season and um, I think it'll be okay for chopping. Um, it ain't gonna really matter. I mean, um, anything works for chopping. It's just corn. All you want is the. If it'll put an ear on, it'll be okay. Um, anyways, here's a little ditch. Uh, that's pretty typical around here. The front suspension on this 8335 is really nice. Going through the field like this um, would be a lot. Like it would be pretty nice if we were going. I mean, it's not really necessary for planting because we're going so slow. But if we were going any faster, I wouldn't. Um, I wouldn't want to do without it. So we're getting to a little bit of an offset here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn and we will just wind it up. There's no good way to do these fields like this. I mean, there you just have to plant. There's. There's no good way to do these fields. Well, yeah, duh, you're not planting because you're over there where it's already planted at. This monitor kind of gets on my nerves sometimes. But anyways, there's really no good way to do these fields like this. I mean, we have oddly shaped fields here, so um, there ain't nothing we can do about it. So I gotta turn around here. So kind of weird to be checking corn while I'm planting corn in the same field um, this corn looks pretty good um, it's all up here's a little skip right here um, either that or it's just an uneven emergence up oh, there there he come he's coming through right there just that's uh, something you really don't want whenever you're whenever you're, you want your seeds to come up all at the same time or act like a weed to the other seed your big seed will act like like a weed to the other seed because it is going to steal all the nutrients from that big from that little seed 
and uh, it's probably not going to make anything. Anyways, the reason I came back here was to dig for some seed and make sure we're getting a proper depth. Um, it is a little bit wet here this morning. Not wet, it's kind of damp. Um, but here you can see our Copperhead Ag spike closing wheels. They're doing really good, breaking up the sidewall compaction. Um, this makes for really good seed to soil contact. That's what you want when planting. You want seed to soil contact because um, then the ground temperature gets warmed up and that's what makes your seed emerge from the ground. So I'm gonna have to dig for a seed here for a second, then I'll uh, get back with you. All right, so I'm gonna, I found a seed. I'm gonna set my knife right there. I got this on the seed. So we're approximately, um, inch, we're about an inch and a half or inch and three quarters. So that's uh, pretty well right on the money. That's right where I want it. And it was a little bit deeper than that right there whenever I accidentally hit it I couldn't find anything else so I'm just gonna go with that one anyways we're gonna cover this guy back up um, and we're gonna head back to the tractor um, so that's always something you want to check is your depth because that's what you're doing um, you want to get that seed right at, right on the money in that ground in the dirt because uh, that's what's gonna help you uh, get get your emergence in that's what's gonna make it come up so there is a little bit of, of uh, dirt built up on these closing on these gauge wheels, but uh, not enough that it's going to hurt anything. Um, anyways, um, yep, this corn looks good here. Um, we're going to head back to the tractor. I did fill up with fertilizer before I came back here and started planting. Um, anyways, we got an 8335R with a 1770NT corn planter, 24 rows. Um, we like this corn planter. It does everything we need it to do. So I've been planting for a little bit. I'm on the straight rows now. Um, so I'm getting low on fer I'm getting low on fertilizer, and um, I think. Jamie's coming with fertilizer, but then Jacob Well, Jacob called me and said he was coming with fertilizer But then Jamie is apparently coming with fertilizer. So somebody's coming with fertilizer to fill me up I'm gonna need seed here in a little bit, but I can handle that myself if nobody's out here um, Everybody's just kind of everywhere today. Cody's going to plant beans um, the other air drill something happened to it. I have no clue um, but Somebody's coming to bring me fertilizer. Um, I think Dad's on his way out here just to check in on me and make sure everything's working good. And I think I just had a, I had a row plug up. I, it was giving me some trouble. I went back there and fooled around with it, and uh, I think it's going now. It's planting, so um, I guess we're doing okay now. But I got about a hundred gallon of fertilizer left, so that's I don't. Well, it might. I don't think it's going to do me for the rest of this field. It would be really close, if anything. So. We'll just have to see what happens. All right, so I'm back here. I'm gonna shift around a little bit of seed. Ah. Um, this this bin over here has more than this bin over here, and unfortunately, I don't have anything to move seed with other than the talc scoop. So. Uh, this is going to be a nice, fun process. Like, really fun. So, I'll be back after I get all this done. Enough that I can get down to the other end and fill up with seed or get something out of the truck or something. Alright, so I got a little bit shifted. Enough that uh, I can get back down to the other end and uh, get something out of the truck and shift it and then uh, fill up with some different seed to go down in the bottom field that I'm going to next. Uh, we want to plant a different variety down there than what we're planting up here and uh, we won't be planting Pioneer because we don't plant any Pioneer. Uh, 
we are usually 100% Bex, but we had this extra seed, like I said, that we bought, so uh, we might as well use it to chop. So we're having a lot of trouble with the planter. I've been trying to plant this field. I started it probably, well, I started at 1, and it's 4 o'clock now, and I am halfway done with my second round around the field. So we have made no progress at all. Our population won't stay where it's supposed to. It won't get up to um, the population that we set it at. And Dad's on his way to help. I don't know what. We tried about everything we can think of, but I don't know what's happening. So I'm going to take a nap until he gets here. Yeah, I don't know if he got rained out or not. I haven't checked with him yet. Uh, I guess we'll have to see. 